but you know, Greg with one G or two Gs. This is Gregaldo with four. Cursed King. Uh, ooh, yeah, I'll just take that and cast a spell on you, baby. And three, four out there. Submarine from Beetle says, glad I came into a top four here. Played a wild run recently with Tripoli in the front row with over 150 attack from Darkwood Creeper and got Roundwood Table. Didn't realize he actually tripled the healthy game from the Roundwood Table, an absolutely unstoppable unit. I love when a Doppler or a Tripoli goes off like that. Why does fourth place flip between giving and taking rank? Uh, likely based on the other players I'm in the lobby with. Ow! Oh. Why did you have to get like one of the only units that <laughs> Oh. Yeah, we do that. We do that when that happens. So Cursed King, we take one extra gold and one damage each round. It cannot kill us, though. And now we're just looking for Blind Mice. I could take the spell and use it to roll to just dig for a Blind Mouse. Because I'm really deeply interested in hitting them. But HP is also a bit rough as this character. So if I can keep a hold of a little bit of it, I feel like maybe I ought. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'll, I'll happily take a tie constantly here. Ooh. Yes. Dwarves now have a good mid-game build. Dwarven Forge. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> You just must believe! You just must believe! It works. Every time. Every time. <laughs> I'm Wonder Waddle! Video games are easy when they just do what you ask. <laughs> we gave them a three cost character, took maximum damage. I can't just roll infinitely. I actually do have to put something on the board. <laughs> Unfortunately. <sighs> we'll find some dwarves eventually. Um, it's also worth noting, you know, I'm, I'm more than happy to have the baby root in the back line. Um, and the, even possibly the mad mim. Um, for some of the dwarves that we're going to be able to find, Tweedledee and Tweedledum would love to have mad mim behind them because they otherwise have very little damage. Uh, some extra health support from uh, to a triply or a doubly with the baby roots is not awful, but I'm I'm pretty hard committed to going dwarves right now. I will take them as soon as I can find them. Game is easy if game give you everything you need. Exactly, just just have the game give you everything you need for it. That's a tool. Hmm. That's well, probably the most balanced board for us right now. I'm just going to feel some extra damage here. Okay. 
I mean, like, it's a good board. It's a good board. It's got stats on it. It's a good board. It's fine. But I would really like some dwarves. It's going to be so useful. Ouch. This is a rough one. Sorry about this, Sal. I don't actually care about tripling that unit. Please. Dwarves. There's so many of them. Please give me actual dwarves. Like dwarves that do dwarf things. Oh look, it's a dwarf. Love those. It's a four cost treasure we get there, unfortunately. <laughs> you know what? Fool's gold. Give me four extra gold every round. I am finding dwarves, okay? We're finding dwarves. No, nothing else needs said about it. Is We will find the dwarves now. It is guaranteed. Give me dwarves, please. Uh, on four, we hit the ability to get bossy. Pretty huge pickup for us. Obviously, Tripoli has been available this whole time. So is Princess White. So is Tweedledee Tweedledum. Isn't that a dwarf on the left of the board there? This one? No, it doesn't count. <laughs> Ooh, even prevent the growth of that minion, baby. Nice. Win this round too. Hmm. Oh, not a bad minion either. Now, where are these dwarfs? That's a dwarf. Is it too late to take Tweedledum as a dwarf? I think it's now too late to take Tweedledum. Tweedledee and Tweedledum, that is. Unless I already had Princess White, but I don't even think we take Princess White anymore if we see her, so. Oof. Rough, tough stuff position to be in. You simply must dwarf me. Thank you. Something like that? I guess I can't even put the range unit back out. Oh, no. That one, obviously. Um, yeah. Not a bad board. Not a bad board. H.G. Rose asks, question for treasures that have been replaced slash destroyed. Are they permanently out of the pool or they can be regained? Question mark. I don't know. I know you apparently can't get a uh, treasure map after you've gotten treasure map. Bossy is a dwarf that gives other dwarves plus two, plus two. Stands in the back line. Greedy was recently buffed, given plus one damage, plus two HP. Uh, and when they survive damage, they give us plus one gold. I think we got a lot of gold out of this round. 17 gold this round. All right. Well, time for us to hard roll, like deep hard roll. I'll keep uh, golden chickens for the possibility of keeping gold for a later turn if I need to. Oh, hello. Let's get the triple on you. The character that dies first each roll gets plus four, plus four permanently is pretty good. The crafty upgrade as well. Probably just going to take the gold here. Yes. Nothing. I take another greedy. I think I might start working on another greedy. 
I may need to replace Fool's Gold pretty soon as well. Having access to spells seems pretty good. <clears throat> sure, sure, I'm replacing Fool's Gold now with instead Hidden Cache. Uh, when you win a brawl, give one of your uh, surviving characters plus three, plus three permanently, otherwise get plus two gold. I'm actually also just gonna condense the gold in my hand so that I'm uh, having an easier time holding other minions in hand when I need to. Ouch. Ooh, you're going really powerfully right now, Celestial Tiger. You picked up a Needle Nose Daggers. Your characters have plus two attack until you lose a brawl, and that will, in fact, here, save you this brawl. Well done. When would you consider it too late for Easter Egg, but not Karen Coin? Almost all of the time. Yeah. Gold on that. Just wanted to get another bossy out there, so our dwarves now get plus four, plus four. Don't care about fannies anymore. Not powerful enough. Um, I really would like a experience spell. And doubly. I mean, that's gold, baby. It's four gold, that spell. I guess I'll take it. If I now found experience, like, you know, the round after, I was going to feel pretty, pretty sour about that. Thankfully, didn't at all find any experience ever. I think I care about the, no, you know, I'm going up against the strongest player in the lobby. I should, I should get the crafty back out on board as well. <clears throat> Ooh, nice. That killed their, uh, killed their mummy. We're going to get a ridiculous amount of gold if we survive this fight. That's, uh, that, that hungry, hungry hippocampus in the back line is definitely threatening, though. Oh my god, the gold, though. Oh my... Gold the god, though. Oh, baby. All right, how much money have we got? 33, all right. Roll time, baby. Otherwise, I'm gonna run out of time. We're looking for angries? Full stop. I mean, look, I'll take that. Condense our hand. I'm not going to read chat for a while. I do apologize about that. Hold the golden chicken still. There's angry. That's a pretty good spell. Yeah, just buffing all the dwarves by plus one, plus one. Still pretty reasonable. There's angry. Ooh. Your know, support affects all front row characters. Not bad right now. I do like Mimic as well, though. The problem is Mimic, like, I wouldn't replace Dwarven Forge. Oh, God, I have so much more money. This is what I get for stopping and talking for a second. I stun locked myself. Actually, that's basically everyone I wanted to do that. Everything I wanted to do that round. So Olympus Horn for the possibility of having our backline support everything. Um, the reason I did not want to go with the Olympus Horn is ultimately I'm going to be replacing my entire backline with non-support units. 
So while I do have fannies here at the moment, I got the second fanny, it, it, it's worth noting, after I decided that. It's another Angie as well. First Munin has plus 10 health. Gosh, I really want to take that and then have Mimic. Uh, actually, you know what? I will. That's going over Coin of Koron, and then I'm putting Triply in the front line. Now it has, like, so much extra health. Or I could do that with an Angry. In fact, I probably will do it with an Angry. I didn't even field Angry last round! Oops. That was a mistake. about the silence here. Give me another Angie. Angie. Mm -hmm. Ask and you shall receive. Tree of Life. <laughs> Replacing Mimic. Oh, that hurt. That hurt to do. The reason I did that is because Tree of Life is hugely important. Dwarven Forge, like, it, so the, the, one of the problems with a Dwarven uh, build is if you want to transition successfully into the late game, you really need to get Lordy online. Getting two Lordies is way easier than getting three Lordies, so having Dwarven Forge at least until I get the three Lordies, uh, sorry, two Lordies, uh, is really important to me. Tree of Life is one of the best end game uh, treasures for... Uh, dwarves that's possible because they have such high HP pools. Cool. Mm, doubly good. I'm gonna VN for four health there. Health matters. Health matters a lot. How many Angie is too many Angie? Because I can't support their health right now. I think I, that might already be too many Angie because I cannot support their health right now. We hard rolled and found at least Lordy. Lordy probably replaces one of the um one of the fannies in the back line. We can get more Angies after we get Lordy. It's just we need Lordy first. God, I might... The problem with the Green Knight, you do want health support, right? You want health support for your uh, for your dwarves. Because the more health they have, the far better off they're going to be. Angry survives damage, gives you damage back. Survives damage, gives you gold. Uh, you know, this is really important. But Lord, uh, Lordy says at the start of your brawl, give your dwarves plus two, plus two for each dwarf that you have. And that deeply matters. Because then you want the whole board to be dwarves. Everything you take off board to make space for something that's not a dwarf is a gigantic loss of statistics. Good Lord. Reno with the sub bomb, gifting 10 tier one subs to community to Borgen Soul, quality coder, Zvari 5697, get down 2000, Nary, D Jones 0824, Mixile Q, Rage Requiem, Water Kill, GK, and Truce Giant. Enjoy your and chat. Welcome or welcome back to the Republic, y'all. Also, thank you very much, Reno. How's it going, bud? It's good to see you, bud. Ah, nice. Knocking out the first place player. Mm -hmm. Take a Lordy. Field the Lordy. Reroll. No Lordy. <gasps> Echo would, though. So, Echowood, when one of your other characters gains attack or health during a brawl, so do I, says Echowood. And Lordy, at the start of each brawl, give your dwarves plus two plus two for each dwarf. <laughs> Magnadra was first. Speaking of, by the by, Magnadra, thank you very much for the tier one subscription for the fourth month in a row. 
Much appreciated. Oh, also, uh, Rito for gifting tier one sub to uh, Rinliars. Much appreciated as well. Isman asks, is Roundtable good here? No. No. Roundtable so far only donates a little bit of damage to me at all. Everyone else is equal. If I could get uh, the Tripoli to have more attack than health, then Roundtable would be incredible. But not until such a time. I'm actually leaning, maybe I should shrivel you. You know what? I actually think I need to shrivel you. Negative 12, negative 12 to a random. Rito wants 10 Ripsodian card packs. Every single, oh God, no. Every single one of my card, oh no. Oh, didn't survive that hit, but at least, Oh my god, this has gotten two buffs off and barely survived each of them. But that's gonna be enough. I'm now gonna trounce the enemy. Oh, that hurts. That hurts to be you. I'm afraid uh, all of the cards in the Rupsodian card pack are just Rito's Friendly Mug, just copies of Rito's Friendly Mug, but they're all the different drafts that I took. So there's 200 cards, don't worry. <laughs> Bear, we've got him. Lordy? Lordy? Uh, Lordy. This one has Lordy though. Mm. Okay. Well, I was confused because this one had Lord? No, no, no. I must have misheard. They mentioned that this one was going to have Lordy, but they were lying to me at the time. And then they said that the next thing they were going to tell me was going to be the truth that this one was going to be the one before we had Lordy. Or. Maybe it wasn't going to be. They they did want to make sure that I knew in life to expect the unexpected, you see. Uh, and if I was expecting Lordy, I was never going to get Lordy. Let's take the golden chicken and the poison apple here, actually. All right. What'd you get off the ground? Trophy Hunter? You're level six. Natural Curve has been level six for a while. You could easily trounce me here. Do we lock for second echo? I can't feel the second echo until I get, um, uh, uh, until I get the third. And I don't really care about the second echo taking up another slot on board right now for the reasons I mentioned earlier. Don't hit, don't hit this slot. Just don't hit that slot. As long as we get enough buffs out of this, we'll be fine. Or not. Maybe we won't be fine, because I just spotted the thing in the back line that's going to kill me. Oh boy. <laughs> what? I'm alive, baby. None of those are golded. Oh, okay. Okay, how do we come back on board? So they were an animal resummon build. They had two Baron Stains in the back line. So taking out their back line is important as early as I possibly can. Invalidating the statistics of one of their back lines is pretty important. They're open to a few of those kinds of things. The only problem is... Actually, you know what? Uh, right now, we take the Knighthood on... Echo would, and then we look for the next Lordy. We're going up against the Ghost this round, and Peter Pants we actually kind of thrashed, if I recall correctly. So we should have the opportunity here to be able to do so. Uh, what do I need to do next round? Next round I need to find the Lordy. Six cost treasure that would help me out. Uh... It's kind of hard to think of one that would like immediately save us. So how do I attack their backline as dwarves without feeling too bad about it? The six on the far right there is Storm King gets extra stats for all of the spells you've cast this game. All right, we didn't trounce you. We just surprisingly won against you, which it looks like we're about to do a game. Uh, 
I'll get it done. Are we gonna get second here? Yeah, look, I'm fine with second. Uh, no amount of Wretched Mummies is gonna be enough to kill their backline there. Lightning Dragon's also not gonna be enough. We would need a 30 cost to a random in the back. Like the 30 cost, the 30 damage to a random in back or a Polymorph are like our two biggest outs. You know what? That might actually just be... I don't... I... I think this is... I think this is more likely to save us than the roll for the polymorph. Note, when I say more likely, I do not think it is likely. I think it's just more likely than the alternative. There's always a chance that Raps casts a spell that kills him. Yeah, I have done that before. So Lordy at the start of the round is giving plus four, plus four to each of my dwarves for each dwarf I have. I have six dwarves on the board, so it's giving each of them plus 24, plus 24. Uh, these triplies are getting plus 74, plus 74 instead. And then all of the stats that are being given out are going to the Echo Wood also. Maybe I should just get an Echo Wood in the front line. I'm up against Peter Pants? No? Oh, we're just showing the wrong thing. Okay, Berenstain got gilded. Thankfully that bear isn't dead yet. They're getting a lot of stats. My angry is down. Their friggin' Echo Wood is down. I'm gilded across the board, baby. I'm a mint made man. Got him! <laughs> yeah! Oh! I told you. I told you what our outs were, and then I did them. I feel great about that. I could hardly feel better. And we're within uh, within throwing distance. Storin's throw. The old 300 up there now. Ah. <sighs> Thank you all for believing. Turn two forge, by the way, yeah. <laughs> turn two forge, but I wasn't, I, I wasn't there. What, was it a turn two? It was a turn two, well, turn three? It, at, at least, regardless of whether or not it was a turn two or a turn three, uh, I, I was not Wonderwaddle, so it's allowed. <laughs>